Hi, it's me, Karen, coming to you again from the back of the beyond in Ferry County, Washington, where it has been a blustery winter day. Had a lot of snow coming down today, and temperature right now is 29 degrees. Um, the holidays are fast approaching, and that usually means uh, we do a lot of extra cooking, entertaining, parties, office parties. Uh, this year, maybe not so much, but we still need to celebrate. And one of the things that I love making during the holiday season are appetizers, including lots of dips and spreads and things. And one of my favorites is a roasted red pepper hummus. Um, so today that's what we're gonna be making. To begin with, I have two cans of, oh, and by the way, this is my snowman shirt because it's snowing and I invited a few of my snowman friends to, to, to visit with us while we're cooking today too. So to start with, I have two cans of garbanzo beans, which I drained and I reserved five tablespoons of the liquid. So this goes together very fast. It all goes into your food processor. Now I was looking at a recipe for, for um, hummus to compare it to what I do. And the person who was doing that said to, to take all the skins off of your chickpeas, your garbanzo beans. Now I gotta tell you something, there's some, several hundred garbanzo beans in here and taking off the skins was just, I, I tried to do it and it would take just like forever. And their, their thought was it's gonna make a smoother hummus, but I'm gonna tell you, I've never had any complaints with it this way. So I'm putting these right into my food processor, followed by the five tablespoons of the reserved liquid. I have one third cup of lemon juice. This gives a little bright acidity. I have three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. In we go. I have two to three cloves of garlic. It depends on how much garlic you like and how big your cloves of garlic are. But this is about what it, it's almost like a tablespoon of chopped garlic. In that goes. One and a half teaspoons of salt. An eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. If you like cayenne, you can put more in, but not for me. Then we have one half a cup of tahini, and tahini is sesame seed paste. It's kind of thick, peanut buttery, ew, sometimes even thicker than peanut butter. So in we go. And then the star of the show over here is my roasted red pepper. Um, I, if I had had a jarred roasted red pepper, I would have been happy to use it, but I didn't. But I did have a whole fresh one in the refrigerator. So I simply took it over to my gas stove and set it on one of the burners and kept turning it and turning it and turning it until it was wonderfully charred and the skin had all blistered. I put it into a paper bag and let it steam for a few minutes and then I peeled off the skin. So it's got a really lovely uh, roasted flavor to it. It takes some of the harshness off of it. So that's going on in. Even the parts I dropped on the counter, I'm gonna pick them up and put them in. <laughs> okay, so that is it. I'm going to put the lid on my, my food processor and it's going to get a little noisy, but I'm going to give it a whirl here. I'm going to stop for a second and just scrape it down. Oh, it smells good. Mm.
Let's see how we're doing here. Oh, it's coming along nicely. I'll give it another whirl or two. This is so easy to make. Just so easy. And it's so yummy. It's absolutely scrumptious. All right, I'm going to take my blade out. Set that aside. Now, this is served, nicely served, with any kind of raw vegetables. I have broccoli, carrots, and celery here. You can use cauliflower, pepper strips. Um, also, it's wonderful with toasted pita chips, too. So, whatever, whatever you like to, to, to eat. So, we're going to go ahead and scrape some of this into my bowl here. Oh, doesn't that look wonderful? Mmm. Now we're just going to pretty it up a little bit. So, this will, if you put a, reserve a few of these chickpeas or garbanzo beans and put them on the top, then everybody knows without even you saying exactly what it is. And we're also going to let them know that we've got some roasted red peppers in there. So we'll put a few little, little slices on the top here. And then I have this ridiculously small little bottle of olive oil, which I just got out because I thought it was kind of fun. And I'm just going to drizzle just a tiny bit over the top. There we go. And this is my roasted red pepper and garlic hummus. So if you like this recipe, you know how to hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment. It is, the recipe is on page 10 of my cookbook, The Journey Girl Cooks. Also, please check out my website, www.thejourneygirl, for this and other recipes. Until next time, journey on.